Real estate photographers, how much time are you wasting doing your own editing? Or in fact, how much money are you spending on sending your editing away to uh, photo editors? Well, how about if I told you that there is a program out there now which can do all your editing in minutes and at a fraction of the price? Well, that program or bit of software is called Auto HDR. And it's a online bit of software, it's an AI software which is created by the people at Auto HDR which processes your bracketed HDR photos so that's like three stops of photos like an overexposed photo, underexposed photo and one in the middle blends them together and does all this just in minutes. You literally just upload it to their website and then honestly within 10 minutes a shoot can be ready and it does look pretty good now. Like I'll put some examples on the screen I mean, you, some of you may have heard of this bit of software. I mean, I come across it at the start of the year, I think it was, so early 2025, <clears throat> and I did try it out. And to be honest, I wasn't too impressed because <clears throat> I just thought some of the images, there was just a lot of weird artifacts going on, the window pools looked a bit odd, and they just weren't good enough to send to my clients. But they've obviously trained this AI, AI now quite a lot, and it's a lot better. And they've also changed the feature, which I'll come to in a moment about the window pools and sky replacement, which now definitely makes it for me anyway, good enough that I can send these photos to my clients. And in fact, I have been over the last month, I've sent quite a lot of my shoots. Well, I've uploaded quite a lot of my shoots through Auto HDR, got them edited, like I say, in minutes, and then sent them to my clients. And I've had no bad feedback at all. In fact, I've had some really positive feedback. Like some of them have commented how good the photos are looking. And to be honest, some of the edits, well, quite a lot of the edits look better than my editing. Like I'm used to shooting like flambient because I just find that a lot easier to edit myself. But um, I have, have been shooting a bit in HDR to test this out and it's come back really good. And like I say, my clients have been really happy. In this video, I'm not going to give like a full tutorial of how to use it. I'll do that in another video. So please do subscribe if you want to see that and learn more about how to use Auto HDR. But this is more just a, a quick overview of what Auto HDR is and like go and check it out yourself because it really is very easy to use. I mean, there might be some features you might miss, which I will pick up in that tutorial. But um, it's just to make people aware that this is out there. Like I did a previous video about <clears throat> like, is AI gonna affect us as real estate photographers? And, and in that, I even said, I think we should use it to our advantage. And this is one of those tools where we really can use it to our advantage. And in that video also, I just said, the people that I'd be most worried for are the photo editors, because this sort of software really is gonna put photo editors out of business. Because like I say, you can upload your images to Auto HDR and it says they'll be ready in 30 minutes. But in fact, I've found a lot of the time I've had these back in 10 or 15 minutes and they look absolutely fine. I mean, you have to do a little bit of quality control check on them like you would do even if you sent it to your photo editors, but that's absolutely fine. It's still taking out a load of the legwork and to be honest, majority of the photos I don't have to do too much too. There are some adjustments you can do in Auto HDR, but to be honest, I download them and make any of the tweaks like in Photoshop or Lightroom that I need to do. But the other great thing with this is the cost. And um, I'll run through that in just a moment and show you, sh show you a screenshot of that. Because again, this comes in a lot cheaper than using actual photo editors. I mean, if you just do it um, sort of shoot by shoot, it's a little bit cheaper. But then if you subscribe to one of the subscriptions, <clears throat> which there are different levels at, then you could be getting HDR bracketed photo edits for like less than 50 cents per photo. So it really is good on the wallet as well as saving you loads of time. As I mentioned, one of the reasons that I didn't really use this initially when I first came across it was because of um, every shoot that you uploaded, it automatically did a window pull and a sky replacement. And sometimes it looked all right, but other times it just didn't. Some of the sort of the window pulls that it did, they like bled over the windows, they just looked really fake and sometimes the sky replacements didn't look too good and, and also sometimes it was just a really sunny day anyway, I didn't need the sky replacing. So now they have put a feature in and that's because they listen to the feedback and that's one of the good things is um, 
You can leave feedback and I get sort of weekly emails saying about the different feedback that people have given. So they are listening to everyone and they are trying to update this and train the AI so that we as photographers can benefit from it and they can make this program as good as possible to make our work workflow <laughs> even quicker and even better. So I think as real estate photographers, these sort of programs, I mean, this is kind of the first of its kind that's actually any good. There are a few others out there, but I'm sure there probably will be more coming up, but they seem to be leading the way at the moment. But it's these sort of programs that are really gonna make our job a lot easier. I mean, you might find that some estate agents themselves will go out and do the photos now because they think that they can just get as good of results as we do, which look, they might, but it's still time out of their day. So I still think, look, we're gonna get used to photographers because we kind of know the angles, we, we save them time, and we can also get other things done on site, like the floor plans and drone stuff. Um, but like I say, this is just gonna speed up our workflow. And you can even, the great thing about this is you can shoot in JPEG and they still look great. And you, one of the, things that speeds this up is you could put a, um, a card reader into your phone, have it linked to Dropbox, put the card in your phone, have a, a Dropbox folder set up on there in Dropbox with Auto HDR and it automatically loads up to Auto HDR and then by the time you get home, all your photos are edited and your clients are gonna love you because you're gonna get the turnaround so quick and that is one of the other big advantages to this software. I mean, again, I'll do a full tutorial on how to do that soon. So please subscribe so you can see that when it comes up. So overall, I think programs like this, like this is really the first of its kind that's any good. I think there will be more coming up. I'm sure there will. But this is the one that, the first one that I found that I can actually send off to my clients. And like I say, it's taken a bit of a, a journey to get there, I think, and it's still a work in progress. There's still some shots that occasionally come out with a few little weird artifacts on, but across the board, they're looking pretty good. And like I say, you can still go and sort of make tweaks in Photoshop Lightroom afterwards. And there are occasions where I still use a flash and shoot flambium because here in the UK, obviously it's quite dark sometimes and I have to get that extra bit of light in it. So it's whatever you think is good for you because this isn't gonna be for everyone, I know. I know a lot of people just like to have that control of editing their own photos, but like anything, I mean, some people still listen to music on vinyl or even cassette, cassette unbelievably, but a lot of people are happy streaming it through like Spotify or YouTube. It's whatever works for you, whatever is best for your workflow. But please do let me know if you've used this already, how you've found it, and if you think sort of using AI like this for real estate photographers is a good thing or maybe a bad thing, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Personally, anything that speeds up my workflow and can also get it done a bit cheaper is a great thing. But um, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do, and because I will be doing some more videos about Auto HDR coming up soon. But thanks for watching guys, and I will see you all in the next one.